Olcranon bursitis. There are many bursae located throughout the body that act as cushions between bones and soft tissues, such as muscles, tendons, and skin. They contain a small amount of lubricating fluid that allows the soft tissues to move freely over the underlying bone. The elbow bursa lies under the skin at the bony tip of the elbow in the back of the arm which called the olcranon. Normally, the bursa is flat and has only a minimal amount of fluid. However, the bursa can fill with extra fluid and become swollen if it becomes irritated or inflamed. This condition is called bursitis. Causes A hard blow to the elbow such as hitting it or falling on top of it could cause the bursa to swell. Leaning your elbow against a hard surface over a long time can irritate the bursa. Typically this type of bursitis develops over several months. Bone spurs on the tip of the elbow bone could repeatedly cause you to have elbow bursitis. If you have another condition such as rheumatoid arthritis, gout, or kidney failure in which you need dialysis, you have a higher chance of getting elbow bursitis. If your bursa is infected from a cut, scrape, or insect bite, this will cause the sac to fill up with extra fluid, swell, and get red and painful. Occasionally the bursa sac may become infected without an obvious injury to the skin. Symptoms Swelling is usually the first symptom you'll notice. The skin on the back of the elbow may be loose so you may not see the swelling at first. In some cases the swelling flares up quickly and you might notice it right away. As the swelling continues, the bursa begins to stretch, which causes pain. The pain often worsens with direct pressure on the elbow or with bending the elbow. But some people with elbow bursitis don't feel any pain whether their elbows are flexed or not. If the bursa is infected, the skin becomes red and warm. Occasionally an infected bursa will open spontaneously and drain pus. Diagnosis Discuss your symptoms and medical history with your doctor. Your doctor will examine your arm and elbow. He may recommend an X-ray to look for a foreign body or a bone spur. If your doctor suspects that bursitis is due to an infection, he may recommend aspirating the bursa that means removing the fluid from it with a needle. Fluid removal helps relieve symptoms and gives your doctor a sample that can be looked at in a laboratory to identify if any bacteria are present. Treatments Avoid activities that cause direct pressure to your swollen elbow. An elbow pad may be used to cushion your elbow and protect it. Icing the elbow 15 to 20 minutes 2 to 3 times per day can help to decrease the swelling. Don't put the ice directly on the skin. Take non-steroidal anti-inflammatories (NSAIDs) to reduce the swelling and the pain. If you have elbow bursitis because of an infection, you may have to take antibiotics that your doctor prescribes. If swelling and pain do not respond to these measures after 3-6 to six weeks, your doctor may recommend removing fluid from the bursa and injecting a corticosteroid medication into the bursa. Corticosteroid injections work well to relieve pain and swelling. However, some patients do not have any relief of symptoms with corticosteroid injections. If your elbow bursitis isn't getting better despite medicine and treatment, your doctor may recommend surgery to remove the entire bursa. You typically need about three to four weeks to regain full use of your elbow after surgery.